It's like the most stabby craft we've ever done. It's the most stabby craft we've ever done by far. You know, Evan, we've tried a lot of different projects, but there's one that I've really felt we should tackle. Has it been needling you? It's been needling me. <laughs> Did you have that planned? No. <laughs> Today, guys, we are gonna try needle felting for the very first time. It seems kind of like black magic. I don't understand how it works, and that bothers me. How do you go from this to something like cute and compact that's like a little character? I'm gonna be trying to create a cactus monster because that's the guide I have in front of me. And I'm gonna try to make a little mushroom character. We bought a kit, so it has some some step-by-step -step we're gonna try to follow. We yeah. also bought some additional supplies yeah. outside the kit. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. For mine, I need to start with the body and it recommends using white as the base and then covering it with greens. So. And for mine, I'm supposed to start with the little mushroom cap by making a red circle. I'm using all of my white. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I want him to be a nice, solid, chunky boy. Yeah, in the video tutorial we watched, people just like stab it really quick and then it just like, it just like joins together. And I guess it's kind of working for me. Yeah, it's just supposed to like, glue onto itself, I guess. Yeah, it's a mix, like to me, I kind of think of it as like a mix of like additive 3D printing <laughs> and painting, <laughs> but with wool. Cause you can just like, you can just like peel it off, stick it on here, stab it a little bit, and then it like fuses somehow. Look at mine, I have made a sausage. <laughs> wow, that's massive. That is a massive sausage. Yours looks better than mine. That's <laughs> because <laughs> mine's a tube. <laughs> I basically started with the shape. It is densifying though, feel feel the like. Oh, it is dense. It is denser. Wow. So the guy that we watched in the tutorial, he used this one, the three needle a lot. Yeah, maybe I should use the three. Maybe I'm getting ambitious with the six needle. Strip. Ow. <laughs> I drew blood. It's a microscopic dot. Ugh. Come here. No. It's fine, it's good. Blue tape. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> How many of these will we end up with by the end? <laughs> I'm gonna have a healthy, <laughs> healthy and tall cactus. What if I just kind of like, can I compress him and then stab him and then will he stay compressed? There's only one way to figure it out. Oh my gosh, look, he he's so much shorter now. He compressed. Is he too fat now? Now he's got a little bit of a flat head, but. So I guess you, yeah, you, you, you position and you shape it and then you stab it to lock it in that state. I think that that looks pretty nice. You're just pretty dang nice. I'm gonna go ahead and start covering him in color. So you just lay it down and then kind of stab it in and then it fuses. Maybe I just made mine bigger than the person who designed this kit designed it for, cause. <laughs> well, yeah, it is massive. <laughs> it's maybe a tall you boy. Oh my gosh, just... we got bigger again. <laughs> Let's switch pods, mine is slightly bigger. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, though, that's looking cactus-like. Cactus adjacent. It is. It is cactus adjacent. It's, um, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna say anything. Standing proud and tall. Proud and tall. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, when you're blushing, what's, all, what's, what's not, wrong about being I'm tall? I'm just wearing blush. I'm tall. How the heck am I gonna follow my dreams of becoming a hand model with my hands looking like this? Don't worry about that. It can be airbrushed out. What you really need to worry about is your online portfolio website, which you can build using today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace has professional templates you can use whether you want to display your work in a gallery or start an online shop. You can even create pro-level videos in their Video Studio app, which makes sharing engaging videos easy. Yes, yes, I love it. Oh my gosh, you're so good. Hey, we're the finger fellas, professional hand models. There's not room in this town for any new talent. But my business is online. There's plenty of room on the internet. Well, let me put it that way. Guess we shouldn't tell them that Squarespace lets online shop owners set up local pickups. Anyways, you can even buy your domain at Squarespace. So what are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I think I am ready to move on to my next piece. Just adding a little white circle on the underside of my mushroom. The inside of the cap. Yeah. Ooh, 
detail. Need to add spots to my mushroom cap. I'm gonna switch to brown for his base. When I start his face, maybe I should do the face first before the lumps. You definitely want to account for the face. <clears throat> yeah, I think I might just place the face first. Yeah. So then I can put the lumps around it and properly space the lumps. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna add a spot, like one of the lumps first. Yeah, he has a dot on him. So I think I'm actually ready to move on to my stem nice. now. I think my cap has a good amount of mushrooms. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to attach my stem. <laughs> Look at this little mushroom. Guy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm gonna make two of these, I think. You're gonna make two? What, like a little one, you... like in the picture, right? Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go for the eye. Ow! You think that's a good height? You can always put them in the pot, see how it looks. Yeah, I think it works. That looks good, baby. Woo! Look at that pupil. Ha! That is an eyeball. That is 100% an eyeball. I definitely want to make the eyes different sizes or derpy in some way. Make the pupils like going, well, that, I guess that one's going straight, straight forward. And then do one like kind of going. Ding. Oh, wow, look. I'm, I'm, I'm giving him a little like forehead. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> I started doing it on accident and I started leaning into it. I kind of like it. Yeah, he's he's kind of like Frankenstein. Yeah. Frankenstein's monster. Okay. Yeah. Look at him. He's alive. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go for a mouth, and I think I'm going to go for like a big open, like, ah! Mm. Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of try to shape it squarish once I put it on. It's just kind of easier to shape it. Now that's the shape of the mouth that I want. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, that's great. Look at that. And now I just need to like push it down. Oh. Yeah, well, I, want, I want to give him some, some bite, some teeth. But oh yeah, guys, look at that. Is that too big? I mean, I don't, I don't, I think it's fine. Right, cool. I think it'll like condense down even more once you attach it. Yeah, once I attach it, that's what I'm, that's what I'm guessing. Oh. I have developed a new skill. I can make teeth. Oh <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, that's a much smaller tooth. Is it too small? I think it's a little bit more tooth-like looking than the first one. Okay, maybe I'll shim, sh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna trim the first one a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks better. Finish my spots. Look okay, at my little guys. Oh, yeah, so Ooh. cute. Oh. I think my base is done. I just need to do their faces. Look at this little mushroom pot. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Isn't that it is cute? so cute. I love it. Oh, but now <laughs> the moment I've been avoiding, I have to do the faces. I'm going to start with the eyes. That seems easier than like a line. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, there you go. I'm trying. The needle's just like going all the way through. Very delicate operation. Very delicate. It's also hard because I'm like stabbing through him. Yeah. Okay, I think that one's pretty good. Look, I got an eyeball. Oh, oh. oh. Whoop. <laughs> what happened? It's in there now. <laughs> it's inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> he absorbed that eye. <laughs> oh, he's, he just looks great. What a nice pickle. What a nice pickle cactus. <laughs> I feel like I've gained an understanding on how these needles work. 
So basically, if this is a needle point right here, and this is a point of the needle with deeper into more wool, tell the needle in, you kind of shove, you, you push in, and there's more. Okay, and I'm gonna add some shading over his eyes, a little bit of a unibrow. <gasps> oh, that's gonna be so good! Three, two, one, ta-da! <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> You know? They turned out great. I think they did too. I'm pretty proud of our first attempt. I know. At needle felting. I think it was a really good idea. But I see more felting in our future. You know, I am curious though about what the supervisor thinks. <gasps> yes, supervisor approval. Let's do it. <laughs> Here she comes. Yeah, Jove. Jove, what do you think? What is this? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. It got one <laughs> sniff. <laughs> it got a single sniff. So what do you think about this? I'm bored. These fuzzy things. <laughs> oh, fuzzy. <laughs> what do you think about this one? What about mine? What do you think about the mush? mush, the mush? No! <laughs>